this is the lifting eye that uh, that goes on top now um, this here um, this is a remake uh, I already made one that's um, that's actually on the dynamo uh, but reviewing the video footage had a couple of problems some of the video wasn't very clear other parts um, I had the radio playing and I had some issues with that uh, recently um, so uh, I didn't know if I was going to be able to um, successfully upload this video uh, with the music playing in the background so uh, so I remade this piece this is a second one and um, I have probably no use for this at all but um, anyway uh, I remade the whole piece I showed you all and I show you all of the steps on how I uh, went about uh, making it so um, all right uh, sit back and um, hope you guys enjoy it uh, leave some comments if uh, you are so inclined all right so here are the here's the dimensions of the lifting eye and um, it's not a complicated piece but um, the order of operation is um, somewhat important so um, let me show you what we got happening here. Alright, I got a piece of uh, 516 brass here. And uh, let me see if I zoom in a little bit better. Okay. And um, so I'm going to start. We're going to put some more Sharpie on here. We'll lay this out a little bit better. we got to turn this down to a 96 thousandths diameter for length of uh, 7 16 and then we'll when we got that turned down uh, we'll put a, um, a 348 uh, thread on that with a uh, die and um, then after that I'll, I'll I'll show you how we're gonna go about um, cutting the ball end on that so all right let's get this marked off Seven, so uh, I'm gonna leave that right there. All right, let me come back. Uh, we'll get a we'll get a die set up on that, and uh, we'll get threading. Okay, so we got a 348 die in there, and uh, let's get that guy started on here. And I'll just run this up, maybe a little more than halfway on there, so. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so now... 
so now that we got this part turned down uh, we got to cut like a ball at the end of this here so now I can't I can't hold it in here um, because the ball turner's not going to get close enough. So what I come up with is, if I can find it, I just turned down a scrap of aluminum and uh, drilled it and tapped it. So I'll put this in a quarter inch collet in here and this will this will extend this out and, and that'll allow me to turn the ball profile on on the end of this so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna part this off now because we don't need all this all the material hanging on there and um, part that off and I'll swap out collets with that little piece I made there and then screw that into there so let me get my uh, we got my pawing tool set up here. And it's just and it's my little height gauge here that I made here, and we could just uh, just double check. That we're on center. And this has got to extend um, past this uh, shoulder. Let me bring you back over to here. Okay, so the ball has got to come around this way. So it's got to extend, um, it's going to be a quarter inch diameter ball. Uh, and the center of that ball is going to be 7 30 seconds up from this bottom lip. So 7 30 seconds plus an eighth of an inch is 11 30 seconds. Alright, so we're going to part it off on that line there. Okay. And now this will screw that in there and that'll bring this piece out uh far enough now. So um all right. Uh let me uh let me pause this video a bit. Let me get the uh let me get the ball turner set up in here and um I'll bring you back. Okay, so we got the ball turner set up in here now, and um, we're gonna move this in, and we're gonna, as you can see, this will this will move in. I got the carriage locked in position, so it's not gonna move this way, and I'm just gonna go back and forth, 
moving the compound, or not the compound, but the uh, cross slide in uh, until we turn the ball. So, okay, let's uh, let's give this a shot. Gotta remember to have this cutter, the tool on the outside when you back the carriage off or pull the slide off. Now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit that little nub with a file. And then this little this little shoulder here. Let me get something to point so put my big fingers in the way here. And see if I can zoom in a little bit and hopefully stay focused. Come on, focus there, buddy. Okay, so this little shoulder here has got to get turned down to 3 16ths of an inch, and I'll put a little transitioning profile in that as well. Got a little high speed uh, steel. Uh, Tool that's got a little bit of a profile on it and I think that might I think that might work good here and um, just gotta turn my compound around just gotta turn the tool post around a little bit change the angle a bit let's check the height of this You know, once again, purely decorative stuff here, but kind of like the profile that they have here. So, kind of try to mimic that as close as I can. Okay.
Okay, so, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me zoom in a bit. Oh, that might be too much, let's see. It's too much to ask for it to focus now, right? Alright, so... Alright, so it's got a little bit of a... curved shape underneath with a little shoulder, so... Uh, let's get that out of here. Hopefully it won't give us too much problem. Now, I don't want to use the pliers on it, but... Um, let's see, I'll try one of these things here. break it loose so uh, does that help maybe so uh, all right so now uh, we got to put a flat on each side 180 degrees apart and then drill a hole through it uh, we'll do that with a uh, square collet block and do it over on the mill all right, so as you can see, I, I got the piece in a in a square collet block here, and um, I just used a digital readout. Found if uh, found the center with the half function, uh, touched off on the edge here, and went in eighth of an inch, and um, so we should be right on the center of this ball. And um, got to go down. The overall thickness of this, once it's finished, has to be eighth of an inch. So the ball measured 251 thousandths. So I'm going to I'm going to put a quarter inch end mill in, uh, touch off on the very top, and we'll go down 63 thousandths on this side, and then we could flip it over and go 63 thousandths on the other side. And that should leave us with the um, eighth of an inch left over. So let me get this edge finder out here. And we'll put a we'll put it we'll put an end mill on that. Okay, so now I got the two ends uh, flat. Now I could re-zero my digital readout. That'll bring me back to the center again. Uh, but first, before I do that, I gotta take this collet and this um, end mill out, and I'll put a drill chuck and an eighth-inch drill bit in there. So I won't bore everybody with that. I'll bring you back in a couple of minutes. Uh, all right there we have it 